Welcome back. Welcome back in, and we're going to get started with the second series, which is going to be Bet Boom versus EG. We've Thank seen you. the EG, they did go down 2 0 to TSM, um, and Bet Boom drawing up the Team Secret. So I think I, I have to go with my, my boys on Bet Boom. Um, but it looks like we might get a little bit of action coming out on these runes. If you want to step up onto this one, EG, it's going to be maybe a 4v4. <laughs> like, comes out with the push away. They're actually going to be able to snatch that one. Did he get any more from this now as well? Because it looks like Gore taking a lot of damage. Maybe just a little bit too lax now as well. With Stormhammer coming through and Pure will go down. So they're going to be able to get the first blood out of this one. EG, great start for them. We saw it in the last game, right, where the Pangolier hit the six, started to roam around and the Earthshaker couldn't keep up. But, ooh, we might actually see this. It's going to be the Hammer coming through now as well. GPK, he got that water in, but he might just go down here. One more right click. Vortex is going to be used here, but Matthew, can he close the gap? Look grenade comes out. GPK slowly but surely trying to do what he can. In fact, slow it down here. Miss. Does he have the mana for one more remnant? Oh, what? You can't pause there. Well, I mean, you can because the player disconnects and that wouldn't be fair. No, and you can see the smile there on GPK's face. I think he knows it as well. Let's see as the on pause comes through. GPK trying to run himself away. Did he want to go? He's oh, just trying to himself to neutral zone. So. <laughs> that is not the game. Uh, so nighttime finally comes in. So good TP here. GPK level 5. This could be the kill. Yeah, they're going to try and go for this now as well. Three heroes stacking up. GPK, the magic missile is going to fly in. GPK, can he get himself out of this one? He absolutely can't. Uh, he's actually getting a lot of farm here. Yeah, it's all these mud golems, you know, they're not really too scary on their own here. But Magic Missile comes out here, the oh. hammer comes through. Oh, yes. They just delete save. Yeah, I think he's really not gonna have to worry about uh, Sven anymore. Good jump yeah. from GPK. Magic Missile though, gonna stop him in his tracks here. Does he want to carry on going through the ball line? It does come through, save gonna be here. Just gonna give him some of that back. The Fidget connects here, and Panda is so gonna be taken troll. down. Uh, and Sea Smile just continues to farm. I think that's the... Is it Diffusal Blade that he's working on there? I think it is. We're going to see more contests for the runes. He's going to be the drag back in now, but the magic missile comes out. What's the problem? GPK. He actually wants to go onto the Dawnbreaker. There is going to be a landing light pushback here. And Matthew, we're in the middle of three heroes. GPK might be able to find it. He does. Gets that last right click with the ball lightning going. So he's going to be able to get the proc off, but he might be in trouble. Oh, no so mana. Diffusal Blade. He, does he get himself out of this one? It looks like he's going to be able to use the bottle, though. The chase comes on. Sea Smile is going to be only the tier one, and now the tier two tower. And he's just being kited around, and Pure gets the kill onto Wiz. Whisper, but Sea Smile still in trouble. Can he chase any more for any more? Pure underneath the tier one tower here. But Kaz has this down now as well. Sea Smile will go down. GPK picked up a kill. Yeah. Like you say, he's what about 500 gold now? He needs to get himself away. This one's gonna come through. This is nighttime. Even gonna be used for Dark Ascension comes out. Back lines though. Toronto Tokyo is here. Is this gonna be enough for Fisher? But Whisper still gonna be able to chase him down. They're wasting some time. There's gonna be sounds coming through, so he's not even gonna be able to interrupt this one. And it will be Sea Smile getting himself a fourth kill, seven kill, um, overall in terms of just being in involved in kills or in fact with this haste room now as well toronto tokyo even close to the tier 2 tower this could be another kill maybe not turn it around but whisper wants to come in he's got the void coming through now as well and it looks like they've got damage to get the kill onto toronto tokyo oh no mana okay being chased down yeah underneath the tier 2 tower though matthew's gonna be taking these tower shots do they have enough to get the kill is matthew using those one charges to keep himself full health and it looks like, or at least not dead and bet boom do they back themselves away? Are they even going to go fighting from this storm? Got to be careful with the blink in the storm hammer. He's just been the pushback. It doesn't matter. They've still got the silence on. And it looks like they might be able to go for even more save. There's going to be the one in now as well. And it looks like, yeah, they're going to be able to take advantage of that. Get the kill into Toronto, Tokyo. And now save. Won't be able to get himself away from this one. See Smile cleaning them up. Cleaning everybody up in this fight. They have BKB on the shaker, yeah. right? Because you need to be able to... Jump aggressively and stop this Night Stalker. But the thing is, Night Stalker can also get a BKB. Then what do you do as well? You get the drag back out. The global sounds comes out now as well. This is going to stop Sea Smile from being able to get away there. Um, didn't have the Rolling Thunder anyway. They're going to be able to go for more now as well. So this is a fight back here from Bet Boom Pure. He gets himself the double kill. Nicely done. Now that they know some cooldowns are uh, not available for EG, they get one kill and they go for another smoke. Echo is still available. Gotta be careful, Whisper. There yeah. are a lot of spells available right now. Your big different fear is going to wear off now as well. You're going to have Matthew just on the spot, but he gets caught up now by the Fisher, and no way to get away from it. So there is going to be the damage coming through and GPK. Yeah, that's going to be a nice one there for him to pick up. And I mean, he's got a decent amount of items here. Level 17, he's four levels above the troll. Picard is just having a great time in this fight. The Global Sounds is going to come out now. Going to use it to get the kill onto Sea Smile. Sea Smile goes down and... 
He is going to move himself in, I think, under some vision. Are they hunting here for a fight? And he might do. You know the global sound is down, but it's going to be jumping. The Illuminate Platinum comes out, and the Storm Spirit jumps right on top of him. They do get this kill. Yeah, he was trying to bait with the mech and the wand, but the stuns were too strong and oh. barely got to press any buttons there. Whisper, though. Whisper tries to get himself in there, but the ball line had already come out from the Storm Spirit, so the Crippling Fear didn't matter. They are still able to get this kill, and they can they take down Toronto, Tokyo as well. They will get that one. Look at the wards being dropped there from Bat Boom, but they still get cleaned up. And, well, the Dawn Break has the ultimate, so that doesn't matter, but the Night I mean, they, is not here for the fight. They have a lane ward. They saw the ears. They saw the smoke. They're too late. This smile. Yeah. Oh, no. The global. It comes out. Yeah, they're going to try and make a move on. Oh, he Smiles, you want to carry him going? Golden Thunder comes out now as well. He's going to try and get himself around here. Save on the back lines. Pakaz jumps in. He's going to be able to get the Storm Hammer. One more right click. Takes down save. And the rest oh, of the team now take. are on the runaway. He does have Aegis. Yeah, but he has no mana to try and get himself out of danger. And Vortex comes out. Aegis will be popped. And now Nightfall is going to be forced to turn and turn and fight. Do they have a reveal here now as well? He pops his BKB. The dive on the back lines as well. It's still going to be Invis going through onto C Smile. And can they get any more from this? Look at the damage coming out onto the, st the Storm Spray. He's just being cleaned up there and now they're taking down both supports can we go back to the back lines it looks like it's going to be pure that goes down only the storm spirit survives and it's just an absolute cleanup they pop the ages as well five kills going away of eg and he does try and get himself in pops that bkb can't get on top of sea smile because of the swap and he just he gets kited throughout his bkb and the, the damage he just stacks up and now they even get a kill onto pure <laughs> yeah oof yeah, that fight, uh, Pure, he was on the right side of Roshan, so he couldn't really get an echo early on into that fight. He gets a solo echo on the Tango, and it did, uh, oh my god, Nightfall. Okay. Look at the damage. The yeah, Nightfall just has to run himself away. The BKB doesn't matter when it's pure right-click physical damage coming in, but Whisper, he is on the hunt, it seems like. Moving himself around, Nightfall is going to show. Is this who they're going to jump? Because his BKB is back up if he needs it. Whisper comes in. There's going to be the Dark Sentry coming through now as well, but he's going to be stopped here by the Fisher. Just stunning him up. Global Star comes in. It looks like the damage is it. Excuse me, not for Global Star. He's going to be God Strength coming through. And he's just cleaning everybody up. Nightfall's going to disappear. What was that echo? To me, the, the biggest problem is that the Storm and the Kotto didn't really seem to play together as much as they needed to. They, yeah. they never really got a lot of kills. A lot of farming in the game, for sure. It does have the eggs, but nice. Are going to be able to get that kill on? Yeah, I think that... Um... EG, they just put a lot of pressure onto the Storms, you know, they force both support to oh, Toronto, Tokyo. He's just wrong, plays wrong time, gets caught out, killed off, because... That's just a joke, but uh, it really looks like they are outclassing that from here. I honestly felt like the dress was even, but the fact that they're doing this, oh, look at that, good jump. Yeah, they're gonna try and get on the back lines, but again, the Troll Warlord, he's being manhandled. Kaz takes him down before he can get the spell. Takes down save now as well. Kaz, he's got that BKB it's still going, and GPK's out of mana. They're just gonna, yeah, I mean, they can't fight into it. There's no way for them to get it now. And is it, the only question is, is it gonna be a full five on wipe? It isn't before the Ancient Pops. That was just a massive fight there. I think he might just get away with Amidas, which might allow him to hit some later time. Oh, top lane. Early on. Oh, Panda, does he go down? Panda One more right click. Yes, yeah, Saves could be able to pick up the first blood. Like, people really knew how to play the old Morphling. This one, uh, okay, they will get cool. the Lion there. Overall, Bat Boom just getting a lot of wins in the lane, but Toronto Tokyo will fall. Is he? Yeah, okay, he was fast and flow whisper to get that last right click off and get the kill onto Toronto, Tokyo. But the lion is sticking around here as well, just trying to make life hard. So maybe trying to make the Phoenix stick to this lane. Nightfall completely out of mana and whisper still about half a level towards level six, but still gonna be able to bully Nightfall right back underneath this tier one tower. And now with Hello. the rotation coming down here, yeah, Panda, they're gonna be able to pick up this kill on Nightfall. Well, I was saying he was feeling fairly comfortable. Not gonna be comfortable with that. Right off the top there. So, Whisper's going to be coming in. Does he actually want to go for this underneath the tier 1 tower? The Storm Hammer will come out. It's going to be the Mass TP coming in now as well. But Whisper, he's holding that. It's going to be the Vortex back as well. Do they have the Blast damage? He do. Save with the Illuminate damage. So they have the burst to take him down. That is yeah. so many TPs and rotations. He still has the split, by the way. So he could come back and get a kill on the spend. But now, fight for the runes. And it is stopped. <laughs> it always the way here as Panda's going to get dragged back into the, the Sunbeam, but do they have enough time to take him down? Blood Grenade's going to try and connect. They do get the kill. Save's going to be able to pick it up, but it will cost them the life of GPK. And Hell Sea Smile's going to jump forward onto save here now as well. Underneath that tier 1 tower, save, there's going to be a really nice Earth Spike, and they get the kill onto save, and they didn't even get a rune out of that. Um, lowest in terms of cause is the Storms right here, so GPK may be looking to just get some... 
He's going to be able to get the jump. He's going to get it. Soulbind comes out now as well. The egg has been dropped and Whisper. Is he going to be able to get himself away from this one? There's no split, but there is going to be the Solar Guardian coming in. And they have the Earth Spike, and it's going to be out of mana here. Storm Spirit Storm. Can he get himself away? The jump in, but it looks like four heroes grouping up. Spawn for it. He's going to get really darn low. And the Sunbeam not going to be able to keep him alive now as well. The Illuminate damage comes through. Whisper. He's going to be able to get a kill on Tor Toronto, Tokyo. That was a bet boom jump, and they lose too. Okay. All right. Close. Very close. Jump other side, though. Yeah, in fact, GPK got the Whisper in from the other side now as well. The Solar Guardian comes out. GPK just trying to do what he can. Waste a little bit of time here. Dream Core will be used. There's going to be the Spirit Vessel, but the, the Ravage it comes through. It connects the Meteor Hammer now as well. It get used, but he's still going to kill onto GPK Pure. Can he get himself out of this one? You've got five heroes, and look at how long it takes them to take down the giant Watermelon. He does eventually get carved up the... You, you can see that the three cores here from the side of EG just behind the Sven in terms of net worth, but they are stepping up now. Could it be a big jump in? Can they get the drag back onto Panda Panda with the Soul Bind on him now as well? It takes a lot of damage, but there might be some revenge coming out because GPK What's used that? pretty much all of his mana here just to get on top of it. So the Spirit Vessel damage, and Matthew cleans him up. Pure. He's a big tanky boy, but can they take him down here? Backline. Sunray's going to come through. Stormhammer's going to be in now as well. Nightfall. He's online. He's ready to get involved, and they do get the kill onto the Panda. Toronto Tokyo will go down. Pakaz taking a lot of damage. Dream Call has been used. Nightfall. He's taking low to the Spirit vessel but does he want to carry on going he has that mask of madness so he can get his health back and he's going to be playing around this has his bkb up though if he needs it and they do go towards toronto tokyo so smoke's going to break gpk might be showing dream cold comes oh, out they find a storm they do he's going to be behind rock so he's going to be able to get himself away from this one he's going to be silenced up no they take him down in the finger matthew just throws out the finger to secure the kill and the phoenix using the supernova it won't be in range now toronto tokyo could be in trouble here even the neutral ancient's getting involved chase comes out whisper he wants to go for this one the ghost strength comes out the storm hammer and matthew will be absolutely deleted there is a ravage available here but whisper with the split and they're going to come through this phoenix can he get himself away the four staff comes out toronto tokyo on the high ground it looks like the sven he wants to get involved but there will be the tornado to push him up into the earth and do they want to go for more because again the split will be wearing off but is he going to be able to get himself away here whisper was that storm hammer anything to connect whisper going to be slowed down solar bind comes through the illuminate damage now as well nightfall storm hammer and the meme hammer they're all going to be here these hammers being dropped on top of this and just look how much time as well whisper is being wasted there because he just couldn't find the angle to get the kill yeah ramsey's just wasn't bothered about his supports and uh, um roger died about four why is he about to get the jump in they do i got caught monologuing the a nightfall they get the kill onto sea smile yo both being used to close the gap but usually you do see that blink turn into a swift blink more things gonna get involved there's he five heroes in here because is he gonna push everybody out they still don't have a puck for a couple of seconds here and i think it was just the the pure shock of this the split comes out so the storm hammer it was actually morphling still in the sven's form do you want to get back into the pit here the smoke is up you've got that tornado going though onto the tide hunter tide hunter doesn't have a blink so he's gonna have to waddle himself into this one if he wants to get a ravage off from whisper the unsplit will be coming out soon here from this panda he's gonna be going right back to that brewmaster form in the next couple of seconds matthew with a finger though do they get the damage the ravage comes out and that's gonna be the reconnect there is gonna be the solar guardian coming in though look at the cleave coming through from the sven the damage nobody's dead well storm Street is dead now as well it looks like they're gonna try and get this damage because he's getting pretty down low the meteor hammer comes through it looks like whisper does he get himself out of this one with the help of matthew he does that earth spike gonna try and buy him some time whisper and now they're gonna be able to get the kill onto panda matthew can he survive with the rest of his team apart from the Dawnbreaker? but we don't mention this and that's gonna be a long fight but only trading the storm spirit out for the Dawnbreaker and maybe giving up this aegis this looks like matthew does he want to get brave and go back into this one that's gonna be the pop on roshan a couple of seconds he gets himself in Whoa! he gets the kill he just he gets, the aegis. Shit! he gets the steal matthew he is just great bait mate eight out of eight he gets everything from this and yet bet boom they respect him they throw him the tips he gets dead in the end but he steals everything from Batroom. Yeah, I mean, they have a lot of scaling with their supports, right? Kikoro can get a side of Vice. Oh, that's hot. Ooh, do they want to go for this one? It looks like the jump comes in. Whisper, he wants to try and go for it. They've got that reveal now as well. Solar Guardian comes through. Toronto Tokyo is going to be in the middle of it. Going to be able to dive himself away from the Nightfall now as well. Solar Guardian will land only onto the Sven, and Sven's going to have that BKB. They get the kill on to save. Are they going to try and chase for any more? Because he's got that Sven form coming out, and oh, now the, the egg, egg has been dropped. But he's going to be cracked straight away. Yeah, makes a mess here, this Phoenix. And they're even going to be able to get themselves into Nightfall. Nightfall in that Silver Edge was a reveal. It looks like GPK is trying to dive himself out of way as well just leaving nightfall to his fate and nightfall he's got that tp does he get himself out of this one's gonna be the waveform coming in oh. get right clicks but no stun to follow up and the sven will be away yeah, it's a 
Okay, just gonna feel each other up here, Whisper with that Radiance. Very hard to bring down. 3k HP. Think, yeah, the, the Meteor Hammer's gonna hammer. land with the Hex. They're not gonna be able to get the Storm Hammer coming out. Gets the Hex onto the Strand. The Strand throws out his BKB, and now there's gonna be the Sto Solar Gun coming through. Right clicks now as well, but you've got that Yule Setter on the Perks. He's smart, trying to get himself away from this one. Sunray doing a lot of damage to Vortex Drag back. They get the Perk. He's gonna be first blood in this fight. And the even takedown Whisper on the Brew, even split formed. He's gonna be put into a little more chunks. You know, the Sven cleaving right through him. Trying to use the split and engaging is very awkward for EG. Yeah. There's a lot of dis disengage. Oh, <laughs> oh save. He could be in trouble here. Glimmer Cape comes out. Do they have a reveal? He's going to try and use that blinding light for the push away. Whisper on the chase, though. Save. Is he wasting time? Finger's going to be there now as well. Save. He's got that spirit vessel charge on him. He's just wasting time. Three, four. Is it all of the heroes? Yeah. Pretty much everybody. They are going to be able to go through the twin gate, though, for EG to secure. But it looks like they are going to be the ones to secure it. Yeah, they're going to pop the pandas here just to hold down the tight hunter in place. This is not too fast, though. They're yeah. fighting very far away from Roshan right now. Look at this. Matthew's going to be... They do get that Aegis out, but Matthew looks like he's going to be dismantled. No! They don't get the kill. He's going to be taken down in the end. The split's about halfway through now as well. You still have the uh, the damage coming through. Ravage isn't available just yet, though. Pure. Trying to do what he can. The buyback comes through from the line. They want to get into this fight. GPK is going to be able to get the stun. Look at that Meteor. Oh, oh that's a really God. good storm hammer. It pops the Aegis and the Solar Guardian. Not enough to keep them alive. Did they time the egg right? Aegis. It's going to be into the pop, maybe, but the wave form away. Because he's going to be able to run from this one. And it looks like the Roshan is the curse at the minute. Lincoln Sphere is going to be broken here, but the right click, so will the Morphlin. Silver Edge for that extra damage. He's going to try and take the Sven's form for that Storm Hammer coming through. And I don't think he's going to be able to survive through this one. Does he get the TP? Anything to cancel this one? The Hex will cancel the TP out, and all of a sudden, Akaz, it goes from great to awful here. A clean, clean fight there for Bedroom, and they're even going to be pushing onto the T3. Onto the Hagrid. In fact, the Harpoon comes out. Are they going to be able to delete Whisper? Whisper, he doesn't have that split, so he is going to be taken oh down. 60 seconds, he's dead. No Morphlin for 30 seconds either. Bedroom are going to break the base wow nightfall he, that mkb was really the answer this fight separate to this because very low here save breaks the lincolns they're gonna try and go the bkb comes out there's no Ooh. bash here. the damage was there but the tp completes in time here throwing the god strength up that wasn't able to get the kill off the vortex so he grabs onto three heroes what else can he get from three this heroes. one because the sunray coming through the egg gets broken though toronto tokyo's dead and gpk just has to bkb tp out of that one honestly i'm not sure how you can take them uh, uh they need to split at them somehow big jump they're gonna be able to get the sound stuff now as well into the brewmaster brew can he get himself away from this one the hex comes out the end disc but it's gonna be the second hex and then oh hex my god on, hex is on hex is on hex as he gets that split off though look at this fan he's gonna try and cleave through this one he does get stunned up now he's using that bkb back lines it looks like panda he might be the sacrificial lamb he does get taken down nightfall is godlike here the jump comes in though they found him ravage oh, do they have the control to the morphling the morphling i think he had that shield ring coming out now but the double ravage comes through and he just gets taken apart here three heroes dead and bet boom God Strength comes out. That's a refresher here for the Sven. So he's going to have that extra BKB. God Strength, like I say, already been popped here. It looks like, are they just going to go for Magus? It looks like they're pushing in the base. Yeah, they want to take out Magus here. You've already got that hammer coming down. Morphlin does buy back. Are they going to try and fight this one, though? Second glyph is available. They have to use it now. They, they don't use it. Nope. And Hex comes out here. This is just going to be, if they let this go any longer, the Morphling is hiding in the trees. It's going to be the jump on the back lines. They get that jump onto Matthew. Can they take that? And it's going to be Megas and a disengage coming out from Bet Boom. That was a buyback from two heroes. Let's say they want to go for a little bit more here. So Roshan is back up. It's that refresher shot now as well. Pakaz, Lincoln gets broken. Did he get the kill? It's going to be the Storm Hammer. He has that BKB. And save gets cleaned up if he needs to, though. He can buy back into this fight. And there's a TP. It's going to take him a little bit of time to get through the tier 2 tower to the Roshan pit. But they want to go for this one. Whisper, Nullify comes out. The Hex is going to be dragged in by the Harpoon. Straight up deleted. Solar Guardian. What Solar Guardian? He is dead. And now it might be the jump to his death here, Panda. And it looks like, can he get himself away from this one? The Nullify comes out once again. Was that drag back? Do they even need the drag back, Matthew? He takes down save. That's a die back on the Keeper of Light. But they've already lost two heroes here. Jump in, Lincoln gets broken. Hex comes out onto the Morphling. Can they go for any more of this? What's that storm hammer? Well, it's going to be the Yule Scepter coming out onto the spam, but they've got the drive back from the Vortex here. And the Hurricane, excuse me, the Harpoon comes in and they delete the Morphling. I wouldn't be surprised just to see them rush down, try and take tier fours here because the tier, I mean, the tier fours are already been pressured. They're just going to give it the GG here, EG. Yeah, tough game for EG. I think they, they played the early game so well. Oh, oh. okay. There's <laughs> two. They're just They're hanging still, about. Yeah.